Hey guys, it's Donna and today I have a Dia and Co style box for May and really fun shoes from X Hay Day. So I really want to start with the shoes because I'm curious to see what these look like. So X Hay Day reached out to me to see if I would like to try their shoes. They have some fun fashion forward shoes and they had a purple pair. So I said, absolutely yes. Plus they're giving my viewers 10% off with the code new 10 off and the links and the code will be below in the description. So let's go ahead and dive in and hopefully maybe these shoes will match something that I get in my Dia box as well. So let's look and see. So there you go. So you already see it's kind of funky. The Even the logo is really cool. Um, really nice sturdy box as well. All right, so here's our wrapping. These are so fun. You ready? <gasps> Look how cute those are. So funky, so fashion forward. I love the color too. They are a canvas material. They're actually very lightweight, which is surprising with the chunky bottom, but they're really cute. I especially love this color. It's very like skater style. I don't know if you guys remember that um, fashion style from years ago. It's a very nice like very puffy um, and comfortable cushion um, throughout the whole thing. There's also some cushion going on here. Let's pull this out so you can see the inside as well. So it's a really soft insole. So if you wanted to wear them barefoot, I think you could. Um, or I think some no-show socks would be really cute with them. There's the bottom. So very fun. Thank you, XHay Day, for sending these to me. I am also going to try these on in just a few minutes. Let's go ahead and move on to the Dia Bucks. All right, so my Dia box has come. Um, I really enjoyed Dia & Co, to be honest with you. They are a more plus size friendly style box. So if you're in need of larger sizes, um, Dia is the company to go with. Um, I have a larger bottom half, so they have some great pant options for me. And they've also really expanded their sizes because normally I'm a medium top, but I'm an extra large bottom, 14, 32 is kind of my size. Um, so I have an awkward time sometimes trying to find clothing that fits me properly from different brands. So I love Dia's options. Plus, they give my viewers $25 off of your first box. So you can go ahead and click that link below in the description if you want to try Dia out. So let's go ahead and dive in. Let's kind of check them out. Um, they have a cool rewards program too. So when you buy things, you kind of get points. And then also if you do things like share um, on Facebook or different social media things, you can also get points that accumulate up to dollars off um, for future boxes. They run promotions all the time too. Sometimes they give even like half price or... Um, uh, free styling fees. The styling fee is normally $20, um, but you do get that applied to anything you keep. So you're not out that money um, if you decide you want to give them a try. I love their purple box too. If you guys aren't, if you're new to my channel and you don't know, I love purple. <laughs> it says here, there's only one rule, wear what you want. Amen. They also have a new line of wedding apparel. So if you haven't seen that, go check them out. Um, so again, if you are a plus size lady and you're looking for like a dress to wear to a wedding, if you are the bride, they have bride's dresses, they have bridesmaids dresses, it's beautiful. So go ahead and check them out. All right, let's see what they sent me this month. Let me see, it's wrapped so nicely. Let me see if I can pull it out here. There we go, it's so pretty. There's my little sticker. I think I have the box upside down. Um, but I'm seeing some really pretty. Oh, those are fun. Look at the speckles there. Um, and then we have some fun prints going on in there as well. Also, Dia allows you to select, I think it's four of the items if you want to, and they kind of give you some items you can select and put in your box. I might have done that. I just don't remember. So we'll see here in a minute. Um, they also have an envelope included with a prepaid label on here. So something that you decide not to keep, you just stick it in the bag and you ship it back. That's all part of the styling. Um, we also have our invoice which I like to leave for the end um, and then I'm going to read the stylist note real quick so you guys can kind of see what my stylist was thinking here. Um, my stylist is Jennifer. Um, happy Dia Box Day. My name is Jennifer and I'm thrilled to be styling you. How is spring in Pennsylvania treating you? Crazy like it has been uh, 50 on some days and 80 on other days. <laughs> so a little rainy um, but it's been pretty good. I hope this finds you well and ready for some new closet additions. Let's dive in. I saw that you penned this Molly and Isadora floral sleeveless top so I wanted to send it your way. Yeah I did not realize you could go in and pen things and so apparently the stylist can see that too. So you can go in and kind of favorite things and they'll get an idea a little bit better of what you're all about in your style. Um, pair with navy slacks or white jeans this summer. I wasn't able to find pants in your price point this time, but I'll be sure to be on the lookout. The Vince Camuto blouse is another great summer style you can dress up or down. Try it casually with the seven 
seven jeans you added. Finally, the navy Vera Moda dress features a fun lace detail and is an easy throw on go outfit with sandals. Enjoy these new items, Donna. I look forward to reading your feedback. So, all right. Thank you, Jennifer. We will take a look at this and see. Um, all right. I always hate ripping open the tissue paper because it's so pretty. All right, so if I remember correctly, maybe, we'll see at the end, I think these were on sale and I included these in my box because I thought they were so cute. So these might be part of the four. It's a pair of seven jeans. It says they're booty shaper, high rise leggings um, in a size 12. Aren't these cute? Like they have like these paint splashes or like bleach stains on them, but I thought they were different and unique and I loved them. So they kind of have some distressing going on here too. Um, and they're probably more of like a jegging style, skinny style, definitely. So kind of excited to try those on. I like unique pieces. Um, yeah, so I like those. All right, what is next? We have, these are by, this is the Veramoto um, Curve is what it says. Um, dress, oh, I like that. Okay, so it is a navy blue, but look at this pretty lace up top. Isn't that pretty? I mean, you definitely would have to wear some sort of either strapless is what I probably will try it on with, but you could probably get away with a cami or something or a bralette underneath of that. But look how pretty that is. And then it's got like this crinkle type material. And then it has an overlay, like a sheer overlay over the dress. Okay, I really like that. That's really cute. Oh, is there a bow in the back? Hold on, is there a tie? Um, there's actually a place for a belt. There's like a loop but I don't see a belt. So I'm not quite sure what's going on there. I wonder if it's missing the belt. I guess we will see. All right, look at this fun pattern. Let's see what this one is. East Adeline. These usually fit me very well. And um, this is a zero X. That's cute too. A little busy. I do like the colors though of it. And it's like a three quarter sleeve and it has some elastic going on here with a V neck. Um, it does have some buttons actually down the front. I just saw that. I don't know if you can see it cause it's kind of a crazy pattern, but there are some buttons in there. All right, next is maybe a skirt. It looks like this is a Raffaella um, size 10 black. Is it a skirt? Oh, it's a skirt. I love skirts. I love skirts Cause then I feel like you can have the look of the skirt but the comfort of the shorts. I know I sound so silly, but it's true. And then this actually flaps open. So it's obvious that they are shorts. I really like this. This is really cute too. So, okay. I'm really liking the stuff they threw in here. Um, Vince Camuto, size medium. It's like a limey green color, or like a, a grass green color. <laughs> what do you call this? I don't know if I'm a fan of that, um, but maybe I'll love it once I get it on. We do have these little tassel ties that are kind of stuck in the shirt um, for a little extra detail there. Okay. Ooh, this is really pretty. Okay, is this a top? Yes. Okay, so we have Molly and Isadora, 0X. Oh, I like that. That's really pretty. We have some really pretty blues in there and then those roses on there. That's really pretty. Okay. I'm actually really excited about this try on. So let's go ahead and get the first outfit on. I will see you in a second. All right, so I wanted to try on these sneakers and thankfully the shirt I already had on matches really cute with them. And they're adorable. Like, look how cute and chunky they are. They're very comfortable, very lightweight. They have so much cushion in them. It's unbelievable. I think this would be fun to wear out and about. Kind of makes me feel younger too, <laughs> wearing them. Um, I'm gonna pop them on the screen too with a little closer of a shot because um, it's kind of hard to see from far away, but they're very cute. All right, thanks you, thank you, X Hey Day, for sending these to me. Let's get on the first Dia outfit. I think this top is adorable. The only problem with it is it hangs too low on the sides, um, but otherwise I think it's beautiful. I love the colors in this. I love the style of it. Um, I love these cute little tassels that are hanging here. Um, I probably would have to wear just some sort of cami um, underneath of it or even like a bandeau or something to cover that undergarment, um, but I think it's really cute. It has a really nice length to it. And it's very flowy, so I feel very cool in it, which is really nice here in the summertime. Um, let's talk about the jeans. I love these jeans. I think they are so cute. They fit perfectly. They have a nice stretch to them, um, which is what I need for my thighs and my bottom and things like that. 
absolutely no gapping going on here. They are very comfortable here at the waistline. They kind of hit, I feel like they're a little bit kind of mid rise, but not quite high rise. I'm not quite sure what the height of that is. Um, but they're really cute. I'm trying to give you the full view, but my dog is right here. <laughs> but we've got really nice pockets here in the back. We'll let her slide out of the way. <laughs> but I love this paint splatter. I think it is so cute and unique. Um, and I feel like people would notice them. I love unique clothing. I love when people are like, oh, those are cute. Where did you get them? I just think they're really perfect. I like the length on them as well. So. The jeans might be a keeper if they're a good price. So let's try on that dress. Hang on. All right. So here is the dress. And honestly, I can't decide whether or not it needs a belt or not. So I'm going to need your help. But I really love it. I think it's really beautiful. I love where it hits like right below my knee. Um, it's super comfortable because it has that full slip underneath and then that sheer top over top of it. And then this top is just beautiful. And actually I ended up keeping my bra on and I'm not opposed to it. I think it looks nice. Okay, you can tell this belt did not come with it. I wish it came with the belt it was intended to have. So if I keep this dress, I might have to ask them to send me the belt or figure out what happened. But what do you guys think? This was the only one I had that was like a cloth belt because I feel like it needs a cloth belt. Um, and unfortunately it's black. So I know it's probably not ideal, but I wanted to put it on. I'll take it off here in a second and you can tell me what you think um if it should or shouldn't have the belt okay let's take the belt off and see so without the belt i just kind of feel like it has not enough shape but it's not tenty either so maybe it's okay i could always remove the loops on the side and keep it the way that it is and it's just a really comfortable summer dress um i mean it's a little tinty on the side i guess I don't know. So let me know in the comments what you think and I'm going to get the next outfit. All right. So I'm a little conflicted with this outfit. Um, I actually think it's very cute. Um, let's start with the top. We'll go there first. So the top I think is cute because of the style. There's some sort of elastic going on here on the sides, which gives a really nice slimming effect. Um, and I love these sleeves. I just really love the look. The pattern is what I'm held up on. Don't know if I love it. Don't know if my skin tone loves it, um, especially with these oranges. I, I don't know um, whether or not I'm crazy about the patterns um, in it. But again, I really like the style. So if I could request a different color or pattern, I definitely would. Um, the skirt. So I was going to tuck it in, but the skirt's too small for me. This is a 10. I probably would need a 12. Um, I was able to get it zipped, but it's not comfortable. And if I sit down, I might bust the zipper. <laughs> so we don't want to go there but I think the style is really cute. Um, but I couldn't tuck it in because I didn't want to push it, you know. Um, but this is cute. Again, I mentioned earlier that it has this little flap, so you've got some flow when you do sit down and move around. So I think that's cute. I think the back is really cute with the shorts. So the skirt's really cute. Just need to size differently. But we have one more top, so hang on. Okay, so surprisingly, I like this top more than I expected, <laughs> which is kind of odd, because I don't know if this is really a great color but I'm also not opposed to it. I kind of think it looks nice. Again, I like the style of it. I think it's really cute. Um, I love the tassel details. And I think the fit is really nice. It's very slimming here on the side. Oh no, I'm really gonna have to have your help here. I feel like all of these pieces are spectacular. Like this is probably my best Dia box that I have gotten. So thank you, Jennifer, you did a great job. These definitely fit my personality way more. They've kind of been sending me just basics, I think, and maybe I just didn't request or I wasn't penning things. So they didn't know what I really liked. So let's take a second though real quick and look at these prices. So hang on. So I really liked this box overall. What did you guys think? Um, I also didn't want to forget to give another shout out to X Hey Day for sending the shoes to me. Thank you so much. And don't forget, if you want to try them out, you can get 10% off with the code NEW10OFF. All right, let's go through these prices and kind of see where it falls. All right, let's start with the top that I have on right here. Um, this one is by Vince Camuto. It's the Camilla Sleeveless Blouse in Sage Green. Sage Green, that's the color. This one is a size medium. So she did read my note. I did mention to her that I have a more petite top versus not petite top, but a medium top with a larger bottom half of my body. Um, but this is $62. So I don't think I love it enough for $62, but I do think that it's a really pretty top. Um, let's try the Squirt. This is the Raffaella 
Illa skirt, a slit skirt <clears throat> in black, size 10, and this one is $49. Really cute. And I thought it's very versatile that I can wear during the summer. I can dress things up, dress things down. I think it's really cute. All right, let's go with this one. This is the, which one is this? Molly and, oh no, East Adeline. Um, the Estella Cinched Waist Blouse in orange black, size 0X, and this one is $55. Just wish it was a different color. And sometimes tops do come in different colors, so I might have to search um, on their shop and see. All right, we also have the dress. This one, I just, I have a hard time trying to figure this one out. Vera Moda Carolina Dress in navy, size 10, and this one is $73. It's really cute. Just maybe when I get the picture, I'll know whether it's supposed to have a belt or not. <laughs> All right, let's not forget about this cute top. This is the Molly and Isadora Gwenda sleeveless top in azure blue and pink, size 0X. This one is $48. That's a pretty good price. Oh, I think that one's so pretty. Um, and then lastly are the jeans by Seven. These are Gwen Ultra High Rise Booty Shaper Jeans in medium wash, size 12, and these are $43.80. That's a great price for a really cute pair of jeans. Would those splatters bother you or do you think they're cute and unique? I don't know, let me know in the comments. Also, if you keep the full box for five plus items, you get an additional 25% off. So let's say I kept everything. Um, the total box merchandise total is $330.80. 25% off of that is $82.70, which brings the grand total to $248.10. But I think this is so cute. I mean, a lot of these pieces are really cute. Also, don't forget if you use my link below, you will get $25 off. So if you want to try Dia, I highly encourage. It's down below in the description. That's all I've got for you guys today. Please take a second to like the video and always subscribe and click the bell so you see the notifications when my style videos come out. Till next time, guys. Happy styling.